One nice family, but I don't know about the nice part, but it is, it is okay. It would be nice if we had people, some people that weren't that not supposed to be there. It would be very, very nice. People acting like they don't want to, they don't want to work and just sit around and stuff like that. That that's not very nice at all. I don't know who's gonna be looking at this. Nobody ain't gonna know who I'm talking about because I mentioned no names. That we know who we're talking about. Okay? In fact, we're going home. Right now, this is the time to do this. I'm stuffed up. That's why I need to eat this weight. I always been feeling better sooner. That was just so, so heavy. Yeah. I looked in the window one day and I was passing by something. Big, giant balloon with helium in it. Ridiculous. In a way, I should be as happy as the doctor said that, that she was worried about me too. She said, You need to start eating less. That's what she told me. Well, I really have to consider that. This is There's no way, no how, I should be this big. Seriously, I've never been this big. But you know what? If I wasn't working, I'd be even bigger than what, what I am now. Probably wouldn't even be able to recognize me. This week, and next week, I'm gonna take it out. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure the beauty time will soon get my hair done. I'm glad I'm gonna stay up for a lot too hard than I did the last time. And I'll make sure that she doesn't do it as tight as she did it like last year. She did it so tight that I thought my brain was gonna start leaking out of my skull. It was that bad. Seriously. It makes no type of sense. I feel like uh, it's been on the other uh, the bus. I don't even know why we even have the AC in It's not that hot out tonight. Well, hey, it's not going to be hot out. Stock that's like what's the good of it? Messed up. And I paid like I paid like a million dollars each for those things. I should have got them insured. No. That, uh, that was the scene that we had the imaginary rain that we have that we have yet to see. Now the stitch of rain coming from nowhere. Obviously, after tomorrow is my Friday. 
I'm ready to go home. Rest myself and get ready for Saturday again. Oh, no, you're not there. When Saturday comes back, I don't even want to go to work. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that. But then I feel like when I do come to work, I always feel much better. My spirits... It's like my light gives brighter. Because I have people to talk to. You know? So that's what makes me feel good. I have to talk to some of the... Some of the uh, some of the care managers that work closely with the uh, the residents. And so some of them make my day as well. Just talking to them make me feel good. Whereas if I were to stay at home, I would have had nobody to talk to. I would have had a literally had a whole conversation with myself. That's how crazy it would be. Only thing is. I don't answer myself back, so I'll go down with me more crazy. Yeah. That's what makes it not so free. Oh. Okay. Because I'm going to make sure I don't do a video when I get home. Make sure you have comment also. But nobody has comments yet. Everybody who has reviewed the Jedi Star comments more. Tell me probably what you want me to talk about. You want me to do cooking videos, mukbangs. I think about doing the mukbangs at work. Yeah, if I can do mukbangs at work, then I have somebody to do mukbang with. Even those are my co workers. I can't say nobody. I'm not gonna give out anybody's name, but there's a few of them. That co-worker by the name of Tonkin. We got this lady. We got Bo. We got Porsche. This is my shout out for I do a uh, shout out to all my co my favorite co-workers that I could work with. We had somebody named D. Those are my co-workers. Okay. Yeah, I want y'all. I want y'all to see. Them. I want y'all to see them too, too. Okay. And I don't know when. I know the the, the PM co-workers. Yeah, that's just people, people are my whole work, right? Oh, and I'll figure out my hand next week as well. It looks like it's going to be coming on now, like that. To me. Oh, never mind. That's just my piece of my pony though. It's just disturbing. Seriously. Y'all be sure to, sure to uh, like and comment. Subscribe. Okay? Do you want to do a mukbang? What do you want to do? Tell me. Cooking videos, mukbang, what? Y'all want me to do? Parodies? I'm good at parodies also. That yeah, I have no problem with. I'm a huge talker anyway, just that I was camera shy at first, but I'm good. I'm starting to get used to it because my co workers, I'm going to see if I can start getting them. That's that way I'll be used to working in front of the camera. I always thought it would be easy at first, but 
that over here that this is my for a couple of days I've been doing it. I was kind of shy because doing this and I had the camera turned the, the other way around because I didn't want nobody to see me because my hair was like a whole hot, hot ass mess. That's why I didn't want nobody to see me. I want to look ugly and come correct. I don't come at all. Be sure to comment also. Comment, comment, comment. This talk is Madison Avenue, Wendy's. In the back comments, I can always delete them. I must also do shopping videos too. When I'm going shopping, like the Costco's and Target's, my few of my favorite stores. Say nothing because um, if I say something, I don't want to get a write up. Because now, who I have now is, that's over me, kind of strict. You know, I don't want to, you don't want to do no type of write ups. We just going to work and support ourselves and boost our self esteem as well. And we don't do that. Yeah, but he's kind of strict. I don't want to be talking about no leg pain, no arm pain, no any type of pain. He's going to start writing people up like that's what he said. I don't want to be written up or anything that's in people writing up. I don't want that problem. Yeah, that's what he He might just write me up to sneeze. That's how easy, that's how simple it's gonna be. That's the last thing I see written is sneeze in the wrong direction. He, he's a whole he's a whole hot ass mess, the person that's over me. Well he, he, he see, I don't know. Let's see what happens, he just started out. See what happens. Last thing I need. You know what I mean? I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I'm falling to pieces over here. Oh, jeez. I think I'm going to get some fun on these. I'll get in the morning. I think I'm going to go ahead and talk to Jay's. That way I don't have to be rushing. But I do have to get up early in the morning and have a bowl over there. Alright? Okay. Don't forget, be sure to comment. Be sure to comment. It's good. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell me what I want to talk about. I'm talking about work. Okay? Dealing with some of these people that don't mean you no good. Something that you have somebody. They don't want to be bothered. They want a whole other agenda. I don't have time for nobody's foolery. Here I am. I'm the 53 years old, I'm still doing the same old thing. I'm not doing the same old thing. It's, it's time to go around. I'm not doing this back and forth thing. I'm not, I'm not in my 20s anymore. I'm not going to kill me. I'm not going to go chasing you all over the place. So that's why I said, People Next need to calm down with that. There's a problem in our community. If you know what our community is, anybody that can relate to in this community right here, 
to you. Like sometimes we be afraid to be by ourselves. I used to be like that, but as I got older, I'm starting to realize I don't need to be afraid of anything. And then I'm all over here to know you can love it too. I used to love it, but now you would like to say that. Oh, I don't want to be alone. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, what? I embrace that. I, I, I got a great sweater around my neck. On a, on a cold bus like this. And you know, all will be by yourself. Next stop, Madison Avenue. Some people think that there's something that won't be by yourself. And you can go outside next to you know, Get something that you don't even ask for. And no, you cannot take it back. You know, that's why you don't put yourself in places like that. It's not good for your health or anything like that. And if they're going to be bothered by you, they know how to, they know how to get you. If not, then just move on. You don't need to chase no one. You don't need to go and move anywhere. You don't need to go follow them. Like, drive 12, 12 hours. I saw this episode on, on a dating site. I don't want to say what dating site, but it's ridiculous. 12 hours, you know. And then when she got there, he said that he was driving back with her. I don't know, I think it's going to be one of those disasters. Talking about she met her friends and stuff like Oh, I like dogs, I like dogs. Child of Trump. That's what he's doing. Roll Trump. Get yourself a nice man that y'all booed up with. Yeah. I'm starting to realize, I think I would mind having a boyfriend. At least they have to worry about them venturing more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Next stop, Madison Avenue with East 116 Street. Yeah, with the mall off. You know what I mean? I'm call this my bus chronicles. So I am on the city bus. I am going to the city bus I'm on for. I'm on the city bus. I don't want nobody, I don't want any stalkers. Okay. This stop is Madison Avenue at 116th Street. Anyway, let's talk later, alright? Okay, alright, bye.